Hi, Eric from Arise. Today we're talking about token counts for LM calls. Token counting helps you uncover patterns and issues with your application. And you can answer questions like, are there too many tokens in my context window? Which fans are using up the most tokens in LM chain? Are there problematic sessions or traces that are super long? Uh, and which parts of my application are costing me the most money? So let's look at some demo data uh, for an AI chatbot on top of the Rise docs. Here you can view total token counts for each model call. And if you hover over this section here, you can actually see the total tokens taken up by the input messages versus the output messages. Uh, you can filter by LM calls to sort by most or least number of tokens. So you can filter here for the open inference span kind. And then select a specific value, whether it's embedding versus retriever versus LM chain. LM calls are the ones, only ones that have token counts. Um, so that's why we want to filter by that value here. And then let's do a look at uh, responses that are very low in token count. You can see here is an example where we returned an answer to the user, but we didn't really provide helpful context to what the chatbot is for. Like here, the query was, this is a question, and we answered, yes, this is a question, but ideally you'd want to respond with something like, yes, uh, I am a chatbot with Arise docs. How can I help you answer questions about how to use Arise instead of just responding like a normal, traditional LM chatbot would? So let's go look at uh, cases where the total token is really high. So in this example, the output was extraordinarily long as well as the input with high latency and likely high cost as well. So now you have a sense for which which LM calls are costing you a lot of money. And you can also view token counts for your sessions. So on the sessions tab, when you click into a session, you can uh, see which conversations uh, took a very long amount of tokens, uh, both prompt input and output. So it's really useful for finding conversations with long engagements. Let's chat about how this works. So when you send traces to Arise, we calculate token counts in three ways. So the first is, uh, we look for the token count parameter from the model provider or framework provider. So if you're using Langchain or Llama Index and they provide the token count, or if in the OpenAI completion call they provide the token count, we just use that verbatim. Um, if it's not provided, then we calculate the token counts for all OpenAI uh, calls using the tick token library. Uh, and that happens as, after you send a trace to Arise. Uh, and for other cases, we use a general rule of thumb, which is the number of characters sent in the response message or the input message divided by four. Uh, and you can always view our docs to get the details of our token counting methods here at docs.arise.com. So in the future, we'll be adding more visualizations on token counts for your prompt variables, as well as being able to view the total cost of your LM calls. Happy app building.